Right, today we're going to make scones. So first of all we're going to grease our baking tray which is provided by school, as is the oil. So we just lightly grease the tray, like so, and we preheat the oven to 200. Okay. Then in my bowl here I have my flour and my baking powder I've put in already. And then with the scones I'm going to put my block margarine in but I'm going to cut it up into squares because I'm going to rub this in like we did for the fruit crumble. So I'll cut it up into squares. Just using a table knife. And using my fingertips, I'm just going to coat it in the flour and I'm going to rub the fat into the flour to make breadcrumbs. Once we've made breadcrumbs, with the got rid of all the lumps on there, look. Once we've got the breadcrumbs, we're then going to add the sugar and the sultanas as I'm making sweet scones. But you can add um, cheese if you wanted to make savoury. So that's my 50 grams of sultanas. Put those in there. I'm just gonna stir those round just to mix the ingredients in. I'm using a pan. I've got 100 millilitres of milk, which I'm going to make a well in the middle here. And I'm going to pour in all by the last little bit of my milk. I'm going to just save the last little bit just for glazing the top of the scones before they go in the oven. So probably about so much. And with my palette knife, I'm just going to stir this round. Start sticking together and coming away from the sides of the bowl. At which point I'm going to have to get my hands in just to pull it together. bowl should almost be as clean as when you started. Don't want to lose those last few raisins. Okay. And with the scone mixture all you need to do is flatten it onto the surface just with your hands so that you're not pressing out too much air. And the way we measure scones is from the end of the thumb to the join, and they should be about so deep. You can use whichever size cutter you want. You've got the medium size or the small size. I'm going to use the medium today. And once we've cut them, we'll pop them onto the tray. This mixture should make sort of between six or eight scones, depending on the size that you make them. go into the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. The little scones, look. I'm just going to lift these up to the top because those ones are quite done. 
you can tell if the scones ready do be careful because they're hot but they're a nice golden brown color on the top and if you pick them and look underneath they're brown underneath as well i'm just going to lift those onto the cooling wire those to cool. 